This is a custom watch face or skin that you won't find in the official MSFit application and this video will show you how to install it. But before we begin, do this on your wrist. Although I had several products from a Masfit and Wami and never experienced a single problem due to install a custom watch face. Let's start. Download a custom watch face from a messagewatchfaces.com slash T-Rex. Choose the one that you like. Then open file manager application on your phone. Open download folder, then search for custom watch face that we downloaded earlier. The file extension is .bin. See the download time and date. Copy or cut the .bin file. After that, open the Android folder. Data. Com.wami.watch.sm watch manager. Files. Watch skin local. We paste the .bin file that was downloaded earlier. After that, we delayed all the folder inside Watchskin Local except the .bin file earlier. Actually, you don't have to delete the folder, but it's just to make it easier. You'll understand later. It's easy after you try it. Now we can see there is only .bin file inside the Watchskin Local folder. After that, we open the MSFit application, then select and install one of the watch face that you don't like. Just remember your selection. This is the one I install. After it's installed, we return to the file manager application and open again the Watchkin local folder. We will find a new folder. If you cannot see a new folder, first close the file manager app first or refresh page. We move the custom skin file to the inside of a new folder. Inside folder, you will see a .bin file with a long name. We click and hold on the file name, then choose rename. After that, we click and hold on a long name to select it all. We choose cut, then we type one or any number. After that, we switch to the custom watchface file that was downloaded to change the file name. We click and hold on the file name. Then choose rename. After that, we click and hold on a long name to select it all. You can also delete it manually. And this time, we choose paste. Make sure the ending is .bin. What we do is swap the name of custom watchface into the official watchface file name from a message. I repeat, we just need to change the custom file name to the official skin file name. Now we return to the Amazfit application. Then install the same watch face you chose before. A Amazfit app will think that this is the official skin, but the truth is only the name that is same, but the file content is not. And we are done installing the custom watch face. If you want to refer it back to the official skin, just delete the folder inside what skin local. When you install the skin again from a Amazfit app, it will re-download the official watch face file. A tip for you, use Explore File Manager to add Watchkin Local and download as your favorite folder for quick access. This file manager also can open two folders simultaneously so you can transfer .bin file really quick. I hope this video useful for someone and thanks for watching.